In this video, I will show you how to add quarters to your game from start to finish. Start by adding your game to the apps page of your POQ account. You can change your app's name, description, and URL at any time. When the app is made, you'll see your game listed in your POQ.gg slash apps page. Next, we're going to link your POQ app with your Unity game. You can choose to link your app with either Android or iOS. For this tutorial, I'll be using Android. If your game is not going to be on mobile devices, you can still perform these steps to add quarters to your game. For this tutorial, I'll be adding quarters to this blackjack game I made in Unity. In the Unity editor, Go to File, and then Build Settings. If your platform is not set to Android, do so by selecting Android in the Platform window, then click the Switch Platform button. Wait until Unity has finished adjusting your build for Android devices. You can still test quarters in the Unity Editor without building your game first. After your platform has been set to Android, click the Player Settings button to open the Player Settings menu. You can also reach the Player Settings by clicking Edit, Project Settings, then selecting the Player tab. In Player Settings, you'll need to set up your package name, which you will use in the Quarters app page. The package name is usually set as com company name dot product name. If you do not know your company or product name, these can be found and adjusted at the top of the player settings. By default, your company name is set to default company. Remember where your package name is because we'll need it for later. Next, you'll need to get your games SHA 256 signing certificate fingerprint. To get this code, we're going to make a key store file, then use the command prompt to pull the data. While still in player settings, go to publishing settings, then click the key store manager button. This will open the key store manager window. In the key store manager, click the drop down menu to make a new key store then select Anywhere. This will let you pick where to save the key store file. You'll need the file path to the key store later, so keep that in mind when selecting where you're placing the key store. Next, you're going to want to locate your key tool file, which is different from your key store file. You can find the key tool by searching in your file explorer but you should have one stored in your Unity folders. Now, we're going to open the computer's command prompt. In this window, use the cd command to point the directory to the folder that has your key tool. With the directory looking at the key tool, Add the following code keytool.exe hyphen list hyphen v hyphen keystore. Add quotation marks to the end of this line. Then add the file path leading to your key store file inside the quotation marks. Make sure the file path ends with a slash in your key store file name as seen in this example.
If the code was done correctly, you'll be prompted to input your key store's password. This will grant you the SHA-256 key. Click the Android button next to your app. Fill in the package name section and SHA-256 section with the information from earlier. Your app's unique identifier can be whatever name you wish to use. This will generate a redirect URL you'll need for later. Click Submit, and if everything looks good, you'll get a green message. Note, if you try coding quarters into your game after this step, you'll get an error saying your game needs to be verified first. To have your game verified, visit our POQ Game Dev Discord channel, which is linked in our GitHub repro. In the community support group, go to the API and integration chat. In this chat, ask to have your app verified by a representative by including your account email, app name, and the client ID on your app's page. After your app has been verified, your game is ready on the back end to use quarters. Now that the quarters app is set up, we'll add the quarters SDK to our Unity project. You can find our SDK in the Unity Asset Store by searching the following keywords. Blockchain free assets, mobile, script, and coin. You can also download our SDK through our GitHub repro with the following steps. First, go to the Package Manager by clicking Window and finding Package Manager. Next, Visit our GitHub repro at github.com slash wix slash poq hyphen unity hyphen package hyphen manager. Click the green code button, then copy the HTTPS link. In the package manager, click the plus button in the corner. Select the Grab Package from GitHub URL, then paste the URL from GitHub. Click the Add button, and Unity will install the SDK. To use quarters, start by adding the quarters init prefab to your scene. You can find the init prefab in the folders added from the SDK. From quarters unity SDK, to runtime, to quarters SDK, to prefabs, you'll find the init prefab. The script attached to the init prefab requires the following spaces be filled out to connect your quarters account to your Unity game. App ID is filled with the client ID from your app. App secret is the client secret code, again, in your app page. Unique identifier will be the identifier you made back in the apps page. Make sure the app URL is updated to include your unique identifier 
www.poq.gg. Create another script that will work with quarters. For more details on coding quarters into your Unity game, check out our SDK repro. In your script, be sure to add that you're using quarters SDK up at the top of your script. Otherwise, Unity will not recognize your references to quarters. The first thing you'll need to script is initializing quarters using this line of code. Note. The init function must be called before calling any other quarters function. Otherwise, Unity will ignore these references. Most quarters scripts have a split between if the instance is completed or if there was an error. You can use these functions to troubleshoot any issues you may run into with quarters. After initializing, you can have the player sign in to their quarters account at any time during play. I like to have the player sign into their account after quarters has been initialized. While your game is running in the Unity Editor, you will need to add these additional steps to verify your player's POQ account. When running the sign in function, the game will load the player's default browser, prompting them to log in if they have not already. The game will ask for access to the player's POQ information, of which they need to authorize to use quarters. After authorizing these permissions, the browser will load into a signally empty URL. The player will need to copy, then paste this URL into the text box that pops up in Unity. Once you've made a build that uses quarters, your players will not have to paste anything. The browser should take the player back to your game after they click the Authorize button. After a player has been authorized, Unity will save their authorization information. So if the game is closed, they don't have to log in again to use quarters. You can use the quarters deauthorize function, as seen here, to have a player sign out of their account. If you're in the Unity Editor, you can manually deauthorize the last player by clicking the newly added quarters widget at the top of your editor, then clicking the deauthorize quarters user button. Once they've pasted the URL, Unity will have access to that player's POQ wallet. Finally, you can code transactions into the game, taking quarters from other players or rewarding them with quarters as a prize. I made this function in Unity that takes 25 quarters from the player. After a successful transaction, the game adds 1,000 credits to the player's blackjack balance.
There's a price, which I assigned myself, and a transaction message that will show up in the transaction feed for both your account and the player's account. After authorizing my quarters account, you can see my account's display name in the console log. If I click the dollar sign, this will pull up the menu to ask if the player wants to exchange 25 quarters for 1,000 credits. If I click yes, the transaction will go through if I have enough quarters. If I do not have enough quarters, there will be an error listed in the console log. As you can see, I started with 1,000 credits and have now gone up to 2,000 credits after paying with quarters. This transaction shows up in both my player's account and in my developer account. And that's everything you need to know to get quarters working in your game. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and have fun using quarters to enhance your player's experience.